joint on the last shit. Live in the hills, but it still get a spread. Started with a layer, but it still reinvest it. Fear how I fear, then you feel less a blessing. I just want the lesson. I just want protection. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression. Mama never plans if you brace for perfection. Hey, Finger to the down, hold it down, we gon' get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watch list coming in on November 10th, 2020, and today was the biggest stock market opening in history. We opened up 1,300 points on the Dow. I want to say we went up as high as 1,700. I know 1,500 points for sure. Dow clipped 30,000, and then we actually slipped a little bit towards the end, but a few different things happened. We're coming off of the election. You had positive vaccine news, so there was future movement early yesterday, but then this morning, and then some of the headlines with five they started coming out there as they said a 90% effective vaccine that sent stocks roaring and again we've talked about this the S&P is a biotech since the beginning of the year this whole vaccine thing has been important so makes sense the response we've gotten especially coming off the heels of the election so this was huge today but you saw it really really go crazy you saw weird movements again we had some earnings plays but the NASDAQ and techs and then some of the work from home stocks and value that whole value trade did occur right before our eyes today so even though Amazon and other stocks were down 16 to 4%. You saw huge, huge run-ups in like wind, hospitality, travel, 30%. Our Walgreens favorite, that went up six. It was up even like 10, 11% at one point. Today was an absolutely wild day. So we need to talk about everything that's going to happen. I have the recap for today, what we're looking at for tomorrow, the plays, the keys, everything else. So I hope you're ready, but let us not delay. You guys know what you need to do. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you don't know, we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes for open. It's the first link in the description and it is pinned the comments we better see you there in the morning it's free 99 it costs you nothing to join youtube.com slash the stock market you could post a play see the plays watch the watch list come to life and yes i can't say it enough but i'll say it again if you want to get rich off of inflation we are the place to be and the most important thing you need to do post or watch the blow let us know what you're looking at got any plays comments remixes anything post them below and source that info shout out to chat baby so right off the bat today like we said it was a record opening we have never seen the stock market open up this big any given morning ever so this was huge again and we got to open up at all-time highs across all the indexes but growth tech work from home stocks they all got crushed in their own right so the nasdaq was still up and we could even pull that up here i have the chart and you could see it was still at highs but then it sold off but a lot of the individual bigger names facebook amazon apple google all of those they actually had one of their worst days since 2015 collectively so it was interesting to see and that was that growth rotation we were talking about again travel really really killed it alongside of hospitality and all of that so that was a good thing and then banks also did very very well but the reasoning why now so we had that vaccine news and then there was the president news is what i'll call it the market was feeling pretty good about this idea of kind of a smooth transition and that it wasn't going to be that bad but then throughout the rest of the day though it kind of got unwinded and it might even turn into a headwind because you finally got updates so this is always going to be controversial i think in the next few days. I mean, the date to watch is going to be January 20th, but this situation is still escalating. And even what we saw towards the end here, this was the first time Senate Majority Leader McConnell came out. That was the press conference we were watching. This was his first time saying, in a sense, not congratulating Mr. Biden, but saying that Trump has every right to contest this. So not only is that the reason I wouldn't say this is why the market dropped, but I think a new realization came in. And some people are even saying this is why McConnell is doing what he's doing. Doing, but even as they were talking, a lot of this talks or hints that that it seems like even the House is not secured for red. So, or excuse me, Senate, Senate, Senate. Sorry about that. But the president is one thing. However, now I think the new element that could be added here is if you do get the blue wave or not, there's still uncertainty. But I would not be surprised now to see this whole legal ballot thing and everything. You might start to see it pick up. So taking this back to the keys now, uh, I'm going to skip to the end here, but how we continue to Tomorrow is really going to guide us either for the end of the year or if we're going to see this baby mama drama unfold. That's is it over or not? And the question is now, how is Wall Street going to respond? But this was the reason why we saw what we saw today, where we had a big gap up and sold off. Even what we saw towards the end of the day, it may not even be about the election. That's why we have to see what happens. This does look like a very typical biotech move. We've seen the vaccine play. So some people are saying this is 90% effective. We'll see if it gets refuted in a few weeks like it has. But this is a typical reaction. So we want to see now how tomorrow and everything else goes. So there was that. There was also a Fed report after hours. People were saying that the Fed was doing all of this stuff, but that was their biannual report. 
uh, and I, I'm pretty sure this was the second one on the on the banks. I don't know if it was necessarily per se the stress test, but just kind of an update on what's happening. So I, I believe it is important in its own right, but I don't think it's anything new in the scope of projections or the Fed is saying something is going to happen more or less that, hey, if this situation doesn't get under control, this is what could happen. But the point is we are not on that path now or yet, depending on how you want to look at it. But the Fed did not give any determination of that. So that's why I think it's not that big of a deal more or less. But wrapping it up, even with what we saw, like I said earlier, one of the worst days for some of the bigger tech names. So we are seeing that rotation happen again. I was talking about this a few weeks ago. Again, we brought up Walmart. I brought up HD, McDonald's. You even saw was what we did with some of the long-term stuff, but you're kind of seeing that come true. And I think this could lead to an interesting melt-up. That's why I think tomorrow, rest of the week is going to be really important because we want to see now, do we keep rotating into value and sell off tech and how would that affect markets? But at paces like this, 30%, 20% on the upside for some of this, you could see how it could balance out. So we kind of need to watch everything flush through. So clearly there was a lot today. I'm sure the rest of the week isn't going to disappoint us. It's been crazy. So I hope you're ready, but that is pretty much it. So let us get into the plays. So right off the bat, uh, made a few different plays today. One of them is actually going to be a killer earnings play. Shout out Beyond Meat. That was even crazy. So I did that play. I did another AMD play. I have a play that I'm looking at and attaching this to kind of the broader thesis. I really, really like it. And then tomorrow, I have old Amazon puts that are leaps, but I want to see some of this further unwind on that work from home trade. So maybe Zoom might be it, but I know those are going to have high premiums. So as far as the first trade and beyond me, this one was just really, really crazy today. And this was a really good, you, you really got to see how news could impact the stock, both the news coming out in real time, as well as the interpretation. This was wild throughout the day. There was beyond me. I bought a call early in the morning before this came out. So it was, it shot up in the morning. They're going to have earnings after hours. It dropped here around like 46. That's when I got my call. I bought two of the two thirties for November 20 for 60 cents. And then it kind of went up. Thought we had a little earnings working in our favor. And then during the McDonald's call, there was news that McDonald's is coming out with the McPlant, a plant-based burger. So then this dropped this stock really, really bad. This was actually a killer, even for a few hours and it stayed down. And it was just bad all across the board, both how it was reported all the way down to, you know, how it was stated. And that's why a few hours later, they made a clarification that the Mick plant was co-founded or, or co-developed with Beyond Meat and that it was pretty much going to be their burger. Then it sent the stock up and then they had earnings. And then now after hours, they got killed. So this brings us back to the play because it allowed us to get a pretty cool strangle because as that news was breaking at 1036, you could see right here, that was the first candle. We were able to react really soon. So I said, hey, I spent 120 on the calls. I'll spend 56 more dollars, turn it into a strangle, get to play both ways for earnings. I mean, at like 170 both ways has a little bit extra of time, still a weekly, but two weeks, if anything. So that's why I got it. It dropped. And then I just held through it even after the pop because both calls and puts went up. And I said, hey, I'll hold it for earnings again. They were expected to do good. I thought they were going to do good, but that put is going to end up saving us. They clipped 106 at one point. So at 106 and we have a 110, that's $4 intrinsic value. So we spent 50 cents on those. Those will be at least worth 400 at 106, but we should have some time premium. We'll see, but I think this is going to be a great continuation tomorrow morning. So this is a really good for beyond again, both long-term or not. And that's why I think tomorrow will be an active day to trade. Usually after beyond has this moves, it's going to be volatile. I mean, think TTD just a lot cheaper, but it, it, this is a big move. So I think there's going to be opportunity going to be watching that for a continuation. The next play I made was AMD. So this play, like I have here on the list, it was very simple. I mean, they had positive news literally right after we bought it, but I just wanted a growth play that was pretty much lagging the market and I kind of wanted to scale in. It was early in the morning here. Things were doing pretty good. I said, hey, I want to keep scaling in like I did with the HD. I have exposure in other plays that worked. Not all of them worked, like even the Apple, because again, Apple did bad today along with Amazon and all that. So I just wanted to scale into something that had a little bit of exposure, but throughout the day, they, they were pretty much down. So you could kind of bunch them into the work from home trade. And again, the market was factoring out there. Again, you could see how the vaccine news had a negative impact on companies that would have benefited or companies that got increased demand. But I said, it's decent exposure, spent 120 bucks, got a little bit more time, December 110 calls. They didn't have too much premium. Then there was the Tesla news that came out. We got it here. It popped up, they went up, but then it leveled out and then it started to drop when the rest of the market started to go down. 
but those were the first two plays. Next, the other play, I'm holding this one. This is the Disney. Only closed up 36%, but the fact that this thing came back from the grave, it's showing me something. I like it. It's for January. I think it's decent, but I am even going to look at Disney. It caught my attention today simply because it made that move, but this is a huge move up. And the fact that I like about it is that if you're getting this growth value rotation, I like the idea of them being a value stock, but they recently kind of made that growth transition. So I think it puts them in a unique spot, although COVID and other stuff could affect them, but I don't think it's too bad. So watch them. I think they're going to be decent as far as the other plays. The last thing that I have on the list, like I said, Zoom and Amazon puts. I want to see if you could get that unwind. If you even look at Zoom, I mean, you could kind of see it in the chart. You know, you could be putting technicals or whatever, but clearly this kind of broke it off a little bit. And if we start to see Zoom enter a different trend, that could be interesting. The question is going to be the pricing. So it should be pretty expensive. I want to take a look at those. Same thing with those Amazon leaps I have. Those are still like 50 cents on the bid, $3 on the ass. We bought them for $5. So it's still going to be hard. I mean, a lot of stuff has decayed and moved a lot and, and that's going to be the real dilemma. But I like that idea if and only if we see it continue negatively tomorrow. So watch them as far as everything else here are all the other plays watch mcdonald's and hd again both we have the hd and then the continuation with growth and value it's interesting to see how they went down today again very very weird movements across the board i will be watching hospitality in the airlines i want to see if that continues the airlines is is pretty decent considering these options haven't moved too much but i just want to get a little bit more comfortable with how the prices are before starting to go after these plays i want to see how the option chains respond watch walgreens i really really like it still and wish we added more but we didn't watch unh's as well too. Again, any of the healthcare stocks, is that after hours? Yeah, that's a pretty crazy move throughout, but I want to see how any of that other healthcare or election news affects it. And then finally, VIX was interesting. It closed positive on the VIX. UVXY was down, but UUP gained some strength today. And this kind of caught my attention. The bonds didn't necessarily move in the same fashion. And it was a big move on bonds. And then also now this one really shocked me here too. Gold. Gold took the exact opposite. So you had a very, very weird move today. And I think how we watched this play out, I mean, you really did see a value growth shift and it's even getting reflected with the dollar real assets and all that. So that's what I want to pay attention to. So the rest of this week is really going to be excited. I hope you're locked in and stay tuned. But that is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're hydrated, healthy, ready to go. Make sure you post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. I need you to remember the process of the storm. Know where you're at, but you got to know that you're going to be okay, baby. But the cold loves you. I love you. We'll see you in the morning. Let's go.